You're listening to the Native Plants Healthy Planet Podcast, presented by Pinelands Nursery. Here are your hosts, Fran Chismar and Tom Knezic. So I I was spoiled because the last episode of The Buzz, we had a a nice number of questions. We did, yeah, and and we didn't have to hear from Saul. So don't tell me he called me. Yeah, he did, and and he was our only call. (laughs) So, um, He's your friend, Fran. You're going to have to. Wait, wait, just because I know who he is. Friend word is a strong word to be throwing (laughs) around. I, I don't even know if I could say acquaintances. Business. Associates, uh, business, uh, <laughs> whatever. You know him. I I, I know <laughs> I know who he is. Uh, he better not mess up my name again. Uh, no, but but so we did we did have questions. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. It's a simple question. Um, no, I didn't hear you. What was your question? All right, so he he did mess up your name again. He messed my name up again. It's been, uh, it's been, I don't care decade. if you mess up your name. <laughs> <laughs> it's been decades. Uh, listen, he messed up your name, but at least he understands that you're, your gender. Okay. And he's, yeah, he's yeah. still very confused about my gender. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> are you yeah. ready? I will say for, for those of you who are listening, if you want to see our reaction, you have to head over to, to the YouTube channel because this is video this time. This, this is video. Oh, yeah. So if, <laughs> Have a live reaction over there. <laughs> typically, you know, typically we're uh, hiding our 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 laughs. Yeah. But it's we're not going to be able to hide it. Nope. So, nope. all right, you ready? Hello, hello, my friends, the pine nuts. It's your friend Saul Saul Rosenberg, and I'm gardening here in what we call the Garden State of New Jersey. It's called the Garden State, um, fellas. When we last spoke, Pam uh, and and Jim. I, I think I called you John. I'm awful. Gosh, awful. Sorry. <laughs> Pam and Jim, uh, you taught me about the deciduous holly, and I love it. And I want you gentlemen to know, please, thank you, I'm a complete advocate of the native landscaping. And I'm sitting here in my chair. I hurt my back a little bit. And I'm reading the garden catalogs, and I have a very specific question on what are called cultivations or, or cultivars of the native plant. Now, much of this topic is new to me. I had always thought that being cultivated meant knowing what the correct spoon was. However, I don't really have any spoons. And many of you have commented on how I keep a trim physique. It is very simple. I eat soup and I use a dessert fork so you don't uh, consume as much that way. So you might want to make a notation of that Uh, you know, for your post-holiday diet. Uh, Anyway, as I alluded to, I was looking to buy the echinacea. And I think it's a wonderful plant. And it is a native that you have recommended me for my sunny spots in in my garden of loneliness. And I I can't plant it all by myself. So I think I'll probably hire some strapping young field hands to help me out when it's time. But I'm looking at a catalog and they offer what is called the echinacea magnum. The Magnum, and I believe that is named from the Magnum P.I. You remember the show, but, but Pam, I know you remember the Magnum P.I. He was the guy, he was wearing the shorts and driving around in a little red go-kart, and, and his friend had the helicopter, and then he had a mustache on, and, and then there was the unhappy man with the dogs, and I never understood because it was Hawaii, and why would you be unhappy? But anyway, I guess, you know, he needed a gig, and they hired him. So my question about the magnum is, should I be planting that? Or perhaps, men, think about this, should I not be planting a cultivation of a beneficial native species? I remember, Pam, it was years ago, and this is why I know you are so smart, because you told me that you are the genius of species, which is a commentary I believe you made during a lecture that I attended uh, in which you spoke on a topic. So is it best to plant a pure genius of species or am I okay uh, planting the cultivar, the, uh, like the magnum? I I thank you, uh, gentlemen, always. And as you know, my name is Saul. I I wish you all a happy new year. Goodness knows maybe a a happy Valentine. 
<laughs> I don't know about your Valentine's Day friend, but I think Saul's is going to be pretty lonely. Yeah, yeah. In his what was his, his garden of loneliness? loneliness. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever noticed that Saul's always hurt? Like, yeah, not yeah. that he's one to complain either, <laughs> but like every he hurts his back. He hurt himself on a hike. Yeah, yeah. That. He's always yeah. he's always hurt. So <laughs> I, I had to write some notes because again there's there's some misinformation in that i don't know about using a, a dessert fork for for soup i, I i'm not i would keep to, you trim that would yeah. keep you pretty trim yeah <laughs> so um so just coming across with some of the things that that were incorrect so you're you're no longer john you're jim i, I was promoted to jim which you're uh, promoted to jim. at least he's not calling me pam that is that is was true. he saying pam or pan Oh, you know what? I have no idea. Because <laughs> he does know, he does say he men. men he so he knows men, I'm so. a man, but I'm a, I'm a yeah. man named Pam. <laughs> so um, uh, so it, the, I think the term he was looking for when he was saying he thought cultivated meant using the right cutlery. I think he meant sophisticated or cultured, mm -hmm. not cultivated. Yeah. But, um, and it's, it's pretty obvious that Saul is a big Magnum PI fan. But, oh, yeah. But he had the plant name incorrect. So it is Magnus, mm -hmm. not Magnum. And that was named after the developer, uh, Magnus Nilsson of Sweden. And the other thing is it's actually a variety and not a cultivar. And we're going to go into that mm -hmm. uh, after that. But uh, it was uh, selected in the U.S. Uh, from a U.S. native plant for having petals that stayed flat rather than drooping like a traditional uh, coneflower. So – uh, but provenance is unknown. I was able to, I was not able to figure out what the mm -hmm. provenance of that was. So, um, in 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 the talk that I was giving that Saul referenced, um, I did not say I was the genius of species. I was referring to the botanical genus and species <laughs> of a straight species, <laughs> yeah. where echinacea being genus, purpurea being. Uh, I, I do think that would be a nice nice title for you though you're, the, you're the sultan of sales the genius of species genius of species yeah. i like yeah. that so maybe we can add that yeah. <laughs> or change add that it to for, your business card yeah just change it the list is ever growing um but i thought it was interesting that this call came in and shortly after and the same day um mount kuba uh in delaware uh published their pollinator research on cultivars of echinacea street mm -hmm. species so we're going to put the link to that because we're going to discuss this a little bit. We're going to put the link to that on the native plants, healthy planet.com uh, uh, website mm -hmm. page, just under the the show, like we typically do with the links to uh, the articles and everything. So you can find them all in one place. Thank you for listening to the Native Plants Healthy Planet podcast presented by Pinelands Nursery. Remember to like, share, follow, and comment.